So I, instead of making the trip to Johnston County, I paid the Cotton Law Firm. Shout out to the Cotton Law Firm. Yeah. In North Carolina. To, uh, yes. For, uh, Put their phone number underneath for, for, for representing me. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner. The tired voice of the Falcons, Mike Ritter. <laughs> the co-host, good guy, the no, probably tired too, also Danny tired. Berg, and then the voice out equally SID, as tired. Just well, as he's tired. Got, he's he's Berg, us combined. SID turned to Tom. <laughs> softball. He's something. everything. He's at the softball games all the time. I forgot about the softball dust. Savant. I forgot about the dust from baseball and softball games, standing right. standing yeah. behind the backstop and having the wind kind of blow it well, at you. Especially at softball, so. you come home and you think you have a tan. In your yeah, it's just like, you know, you, you feel gritty and all gritty that. Like, it's fine. In cloudy Pennsylvania, no. <laughs> cloudy Scranton. So, softball no more way. because there's there's no grass behind the plate. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're, and you're closer. Bit, it's closer. Baseball, yeah. at least you see there's some grass. And yeah, there's some some distance. gravel there. And yeah, the, like, nice tan for But speaking of base, let's talk baseball. Sure. Since that's where I've been spending most of my time at. Um, they're close. What are the, we at? 10 and 12? 10 and 13. 10 and 13. 10 and 13. Okay. So two out of three for Morris in the Region 19 opener. Won the nine inning game 10 4. Split the doubleheader Monday, which was postponed from Saturday. If we played Saturday, we probably would have swept them. Sure. That's my theory on that. But, you know, Morris is a good team. And is good. They, they were two and three coming in. Right? They hit. They hit well. You yeah, know, they they, they had one, two, or three from Raritan to start, and they were ten and five. I think coming into the right. right. I have an insider. Series. I have an insider on the Morris baseball program. He said that they so. offensively they've been solid up until playing us, and then pitching was a question mark. Sure. You know, up until playing us, which is just about with almost everyone. Right. You know, but they they do hit, and you know, one of you know his son, my insider son, you know, hits well, and you know, so. You know, that was coming from the relative insider, is that correct? Not a relative, okay. just a, a, a former childhood friend, class, grade school classmate. Oh, really? High school graduation. So, so probably closer than family. I just haven't seen him in a long time. Right. Don't live in the air anymore. He's right. Like, yeah, no, that's what I mean, though. So normally, yeah, cool. normally Danny's the good guy to know, but in this yeah. situation, you got the connection. I, I, I know people. I listen. I'm a good guy to know. I just don't want people to know it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because like, I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I like, I like the Dickinsons could bother me. Roy. Uh, yes. The yeah. Could bother yeah. Me. Feel mean, free. Anyone else? I just, <laughs> he's our number one fan. Yeah. I so. put a hat and a hood on, and uh, you know, not that's even right. Maddie, Maddie's parents too could talk to me because I'll, they'll be mad at me, and then they'll probably do. God knows what. <laughs> I know, I'm of baseball. So, yeah, so baseball, <laughs> 10 and 13, they are played, what's today? Wednesday, right? So they played yesterday also with the 17 3, was it, or 16 3? It was 17 2. I was there broadcasting the game, too. So it's different when you're there. Yeah, 17 so 2 against Sullivan, Sullivan, which was a meet matchup from the district championship last year. Right. Um, if you listen to the broadcast, Josh and I talked about that a couple of times. Um, they were on the road today at Westchester. The result is maybe here. I don't know what time you're Yes, so together, they so. they moved. Supposedly, they're moving the game up an hour because of rain, rain. that okay. may be coming out in Valhalla. And uh, they're hoping to get that game in. But, yes, at Westchester. You would think of me having a son on the team who would let me know, one, if he's in the lineup because of his injury, and two, that they moved up the game in case his dad wanted to go. This the, the move up was approximately 11 minutes ago. Yes, we got the we got the alert from head <laughs> from coach, coach Mike McCarry. Right, so. and then still that son <laughs> could text me. He's like, hey, Dad, in case you were wondering, if you were planning on making the trip, the game has oh. moved up an hour. But I digress. <laughs> yeah. But um, baseball athlete of the week, Brooks Henderson. Brooks Henderson. He keeps raking. He handles the pressure well. Um, homered yesterday, still had a couple hits again in that Morris series. Um, yep. He's really swinging a hot bat and doing a great job. But he the hot stats for last week. week like, he was five of eight last right. week combined. He had uh, an RBI. He had a couple big hits against Monroe yep. to help us That's get right. get the doubleheader yeah. split against Monroe, uh, and then Vision was 
was right. four for six on Friday right. against Morris. Just and his, and his, and his, really and hit and well. His two outs were hard hit outs. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, he did homer uh, yesterday against Sullivan. Yes. You know, I didn't think he got all of it, but uh, it carried. And, you know, he's a strong little dude, compact player. Yeah. Um, but uh, good dude, was one of the first guys when I got to Myrtle Beach that made a point to come out and talk to me. All you right. Know, and I found out he's a Philly fan, so I don't like him as much as I used to. <laughs> well, we can't. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough, too. So, but he let me know of his dislike of the Mets. So uh, the, it's mutual right. on both fair. on both fair. Fair. But, uh, <laughs> Congratulations to Brooks. He was going to talk to you, unlike Louis Kergis. <laughs> but Brooks is on the road today, so you might get him next week. But yes, you learned that's him the plan. As athlete of the week, your responsibility is to talk to somebody. And he said, really? And we said, yes. yes. And he said, okay. All right. But he's a talk Good. to do, so he'll talk. So. Good. Glad to hear yeah. that. So we'll have Brooks yeah. on the show as soon as we can get him. So Basically. softball is still winning. Yeah, so eight, in eight in a row. As of right now, as of taping, they're playing Howard today on Wednesday right. on a doubleheader, but entering that series, they have won eight straight games. Okay. And they have been very impressive in doing so. The right. offense has been consistent. Pitching has been very good. Brandon right. Denise had a really great game yesterday, pitching six scoreless innings uh, in a 2 nothing victory against Hudson Valley in Game 2. Uh, struck out seven, which I think was her season high so far this year. Olivia Graber came on for the, uh, the three-out save yep. uh, in the seventh. And then in Game 1, uh, they were down 4-3. Aria Reyes had just given up four runs the inning before. Right. Hits a two-run home run to put us back on top. She shuts down the Vikings the rest of the way. The offense gets going, and they end up winning 10-4. Right. So, yeah, so, impressive wins. As, as, as I was waiting for it as a kid. Like, Little League games, it's like, help your own cause. Yeah, right. Right. Help your own cause. <laughs> help yourself out. She hits help the bomb, bomb, and then, yeah. like, he said it. He said, like, helping her own cause, or whatever he said. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like, I was like, that's it. That's it. But it was, she, she, she spoke. That. Yeah, like that was a hell of a hit. Yeah, good yeah. for her. She's she's a hard yeah. worker. I know she hard, works hard for Coach Pittman. She was a hard worker in the weight room with us, you know, and stuff too. So yeah, glad to see her. That producing. was her first career home run yeah. as a Falcon. Yeah. Nice. So it's good to see her yeah, good to see, yeah. on, on the field and stuff too. So, um, and they got still despite the Easter holiday coming up. Softball and baseball still has a handful of games. Oh, there. You know, so. so softball's game yesterday against Hudson Valley was the first of five straight double headers for them. Right. And now, as we mentioned, they're playing Howard on Wednesday, which is today. Weather permitting, when we're, right. per, we'll weather permitting right, today was right. we're filming. Uh, Thursday, Orange. which would be today when this comes out, uh, they're at Orange yep. for a double header, weather permitting as well. On Friday, they're down at Allegheny College of Maryland for a double header, yep. and then on Saturday, what used to be a road game at Monroe is now a home game. Yep. Noon and two against Monroe College. Right. Yes. And so then any they're busy. Live, yes. <laughs> and then any live stream information on that, whether away or home, is all posted on uh, Twitter, Facebook, yep. Instagram, or social Up on our today. social media. Baseball, like we said, Everywhere. plays yesterday, today, Wednesday, however you look at this. <laughs> and then they are back at it Saturday down at Hartford. At Hartford, yes. Division one Hartford. Which is and, a, and yeah. a, for a single game. And then we get a bit of a reprieve in terms of home games, but. Right. Uh, we open up region play in softball next Saturday, I think it is. Next yeah. Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday uh, or and or then or baseball, baseball is home is against Rareton, Rareton on Friday. Friday. Yeah. And that'll be a Josh Bardini, Mike Rickard call, and we'll talk more about that next week as leading up to that. Yeah. Unless there's softball, and no softball and Ferg comes over. <laughs> Which he may, he might be and there. And then it could be a dad and not an employee. <laughs> <laughs> my, my two different uh, things. So no guest. No guests today. No, no, no. Guests Could, today. couldn't call Bob D back into uh, into right. service. Um, <laughs> we'll take a commercial break and we'll come back and wrap up. This yeah, bad boy. that's what uh, we'll, we'll do. Back in the Falcons' corner and take a break. We're back on the Falcons corner. Still tired, Mike Rickard. Still tired, yeah. Danny Burke. Still tired, Tom Ferguson. Tired, but tired, but wired. Show's you know? yeah. over. Tired, wired. Good I had job, a lot everybody. of coffee. I I have, I'm tired. I've only had one soda so far. So Heavy. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, we all are a little a bit winter weight. Yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but um, 
All right, that's it. <laughs> right, we're done. We, we, we just had to play the commercial. I wanted to play yeah, the, the one that you know celebrates Cele Easter holiday. Happy celebrate. Easter. Yep. Um, Esports going to be in action in playoffs next week. Okay, we'll Looking talk about forward. that next week. Right? Looking forward to that. All right, good. You know, Twitch. Yeah, That's Twitch, twitch.com, twitch.tv slash lock one edu. Uh, Rocket League. Rocket League, uh, Super Smash Brothers, Rainbow Six, um, all going to be involved. I mean, uh, I, I think Kirk Overwatch, is, possibly Kirk is Valorant, too. To an assistant e -sports coach yeah. <laughs> it's my job to know these things, okay? That is his job. That's all I'm, I'm saying. saying. You're working your way into an extra, an extra pay. Well, then Th that's what I. That's announcing things. You could be Coach Ferguson. Mm -hmm. We're announcing him as the coach. Um, coach Ferguson. No, we can't do that. No, no. Hey. Uh, <laughs> June 3rd, golf tournament. Yes. Yeah, the let's talk is that. Up on our website. Uh, sponsorships are still available. We, we, do, we, you know, we have a cart sponsor already. We have a lunch sponsor. Uh, we have food and beverage, but it doesn't mean that we can't have multiple. Mm -hmm. We have some a premier sponsorship. Um, you know, thank you to Riverfront Sports for the, the $5,000 donation or sponsorship. Um, but there are still two of those available, and you can do promotion on the course, too. Yep. So yep. go to LackawannaFalcons.com. You can't miss anything on the golf if you, course. If you there. watched and listened to the lovely baseball broadcast yesterday, Josh and I talked about the golf course. Nice. Yes. Love it. And Josh said there's only $20,000 sponsorships left. Yeah. Well, I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> so, and we'll let you, you – and I said then you can have dinner for free. Right. Yeah. Plus, you get to golf with Joe Paparelli. You do. Possibly. You get to say you're on the same golf course as that Joe Paparelli. That forbidden on this show when I'm sitting in this chair. Right? Oh, my gosh. I'm just oh, on man. the list. He's on the list. But June 3rd, 1 o'clock at Elmhurst <laughs> Country Club. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's number two on He's the list. He's number two on the list. <laughs> yeah. And he will never take, in his defense, he will know. never take over the number one spot. <laughs> so yeah, he's got that goal for him. I'll for, I've already forgiven Joe for, for dissing me in staff meeting today. He did. He did. Yeah. That's okay. All right. I thought we were tight, but we were not. <laughs> it's been a good day. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. All right. Best of luck to the Falcons. Travel safe. Everyone have a happy Easter holiday. We'll see you next week on the Falcons Corner. Take flight.